What's up guys? Today, I want to talk about my first impressions on Soul Calibur 5. What the fuck? Alright, whatever. Thanks a lot, announcer guy. Yeah, like, like he said, that's right. Soul Calibur 5. Man, this game, I love the car art. First off, looks badass. Patroclos versus Nightmare. Etsy in the background. Awesome ass game. Um, now, my first impressions of it. Uh, let's talk about the story. Now, I like the story though. It's pretty intriguing. Uh, you know how Patroclo's um, mission is to find Pyrrha and um, he's trying to get rid of the Malfested because, you know, they're pretty much ruining uh, the world and how Soy is taking over and whatnot. And uh, I like how. You know, Patroclus saves Hera from the Malfested, and it was very epic, very climatic. I love the artwork. The artwork uh, seems, when it comes to like to the, it looks nice. Don't get me wrong, like the little cutscenes where the still images and stuff. I'm gonna be honest with you though, it was kind of lazy for them to do that because. They could have just worked on just like in-game cutscene movie like graphics and just still images. I just think it was kind of lazy for uh, for the team to do that. But whatever. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's, it's all about fighting. And the story of Game Wrong, so Calibur, uh over the years when it comes to the story, it's been awesome. Like it, It's been great. And Soul Calibur 5 story... Um, definitely is a thumbs up just that it's kind of short though um, could have been a little longer I mean 20 episodes is cool and all but it could have been just like at least two or three more you know just to, to have the overall feel of it you know uh, but whatever you know it's it's what it is I'll give you what it is story is pretty top-notch the rest of the offline mode uh, you have your you know your regular arcade which the arcade in the game um, don't it's really much just six stages that's kind of disappointing unlike you know in the Super Street Fighter 4 we have like nine stages and that that is really cool but this one only has six and the worst thing of them all is no intros or endings on any characters. What the hell? Like, that really sucks. So, they went lackluster on the arcade with six stages only and no intros and endings. So, very disappointing on that. Um, so, this is just the first impressions on the arcade and on the on the story. Uh, Legendary Souls mode, I'm going to touch that until my full review of it. So I'll wait on that. Uh, the graphics in the game I really like, really, really, really nice. Um, I mean, it looks just. I, I like that dark, the dark tones of the of the of the game of graphics. And it looks dark and eerie in some stages. I, the stages. Uh, let me start with that. The stages look awesome. I I like all the stages. Um, Damn, that they put a lot of effort on stages. My favorite stage is the one I don't know the name of the stage, but that uh weird purplish thing on the sky. You know where where you face Pyro Omega uh Pyro Omega. Um yeah, that that looks pretty cool. I mean I like that stage. I, I really like that's like my favorite stage because just that I like that overall feel to it, like it feels dark and and so gritty, like I, I love it. I, I love those type of stages. Um, don't get me wrong, the other stages in, in Soul Calibur 5 they look amazing, though. I'm not gonna uh go there, go you know, saying that oh, all the stages look you know, crap. I mean, you know, the stage I love it looks awesome. Nah, nah, I like all the stages, they look cool, but my favorite is that one. Um, so the, but again, the graphics looks great. Um, you know, so nah, graphics look. They'll always do good with graphics. 
Um, and the gameplay, like so far, what I, uh, what I, I experienced with this game is, it's really awesome. They went back to Soul Calibur 2 style. The make the engine feels like it. And I'm I'm gonna say something right now about the ring out. Um, I like the way how you uh, in Soul Calibur 5 when you um, let's say you dominate your opponent with so many slashes, so many horizontal and vertical attacks, and you're almost at the end of the part of the stage where you're gonna you know about to be ring out. I, I like how the way they did it here because when you have one slash, like. You, you, you slash an opponent, he's not going to go automatically go to the ring out. You know, it takes um, a couple more moves just to try to get his guy, this uh, opponent away from ring out. So I like the way how they did that. Um, not like in other Soul Calibur games, like Soul Calibur 3 or 4, where um, you slash your opponents once, and he's in the edge of the, uh, the ring, you slash him, with ease and then he's ring out. I don't like the way how they did that in those previous Soul Calibur games. In Soul Calibur 5, they fixed all those problems. And I'm glad the way that the ring out system is, it, like I keep it to its word, the ring out uh, way of winning is um, it's unfair. But the way they did it here, to try your, the way to get that opponent away from that ring, to have multiple slashes, multiple attacks, awesome. I, th I think that's really, really awesome. So, great job on that with um, with the ring out system. Now, uh, I my main is Mitsurugi. Mitsurugi is awesome. Like, he is like a top-notch player character in this game. And I like the way how they made him really, really well. Um, great attacks. Man, I'm talking Mitsurugi is top-notch, notch. But also, I always wanted to try Patroclos because I, when I used Patroclos in the story, I, I was really happy with his character. Like, he has so many arson, ar like, so many offensive attacks, juggles up the ass. Like, his freaking ultra, his super, uh, critical edge, that's what it's called. Critical edge is, um, man. Words can't ex can explain it. Like it just, you know what you know what that refers to. You know. Um, so I, I like his uh su his critical finish a lot. Critical edge. I'm sorry. Critical finish. That's so kind of before. No. Critical edge. I'm sorry that I feel a little bit sick. I'm, you know, my nose is kind of stuffed stuff stuff up. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, uh, whatever. So. So kind of five overall, um, I, li I like the way it is, but this is just the, the, the first impressions of it. Uh, I haven't been playing the online mode yet, not just yet, because I'm trying to uh, complete uh, Legendary Souls mode. I'm going to start doing that. I already completed the story last night. The story looks awesome. And Legendary Souls mode is um, is the, the one I'm going to be aiming next. Play a little bit of arcade. Sorry, excuse me, Burp. Try some new characters. Um, Zwei, uh, Jiba, Lexia. Some of them, they're um, characters that have the same move uh, move sets as their previous characters like Taki, um, Taki, Shanghua, Keelik. Even though Keelik is in the game, Keelik is not like the Edge Master. So that kind of sucks, but you know, we have that's why we have Jiba. So. There's no point of having Keelik as just uh, Keelik from the previous Soul Calibur games. Um, you know, a lot of uh, returning characters, Ivy, Cervantes, Raphael, which I don't like Raphael. He's a faggot, uh, vampire, su loving, sucking faggot that joins with Twilight. That's how much I hate Raphael. <laughs> um, I, know I, I know I'm going to get so much heat for this. So much thumbs out that because I hate Raphael, the way he... I just like I just hate the way he just does his little rapier bullshit style. I, I, I fucking think that shit is so gay, so lame. But oh, I digress. Um, so Caliber Five, in the end, it's a must get. 
Uh, I'm going to do a full review on this game. Put more in-depth into the reviews. It's going to be a little longer because, you know, you know how reviews, for me, I mean, they, they have to have so much things on it. And I'll do a full end that in-depth review pretty soon. In a couple of days or so. Maybe uh, next week. So look out for that. And uh, one more thing. Uh, I'm going to open up a new channel on Blip.TV soon. Uh, so I'm uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm going to put a link on the description on the next video. So you guys can check out my new Blip.TV channel. Because like I worked on um, a, uh, a top 20 uh, 1990s kids cartoons of all time. Um, are, I've been working that for a couple of days already. Um, I already have. I'm gonna have that up soon. Uh, once I make the uh, Blink TV channel as well. And uh, one more thing. Um, you know, I, I really appreciate you guys just send me some work, some questions. Um, I just got one question, but I need a lot more questions so I can do some Q and A's because. I love. I would love to do Q and A's. Like that'd be really cool. You know, I I, I always like to, um, you know, questions that you know I that you know like if any type of questions that you like to say, I would like to answer. Um, even the most stupidest questions, I'll still I'll still say I'll answer to those so stupid questions because you know I like you know questions and answers like Q and A's and stuff like that. So uh, I hope that you know th that. You guys, my subscribers, some people who are not subscribers, maybe some viewers, like to see some questions about the Philadelphia 5550 myself. And, yeah, I would love uh, to read all your questions. So, if you like to do that, just uh, PM me um, on my YouTube channel. Send me some questions there, and I'll be happy to read them and do a, a Q&A video pretty soon. Maybe next week or so, so. Yeah, pretty much, this is pretty much it. This is my first impression on Soul Calibur 5. You shut the fuck up. I get it. Soul Calibur 5. Alright, guys.